So now let's style the middle part. First we need an image for our Google logo. So I've already found my image. I'm just going to paste it into the folder. And you can see this is our directory. So you should be able to see it on the sidebar of brackets. Oops, something else that I'm doing. All right, so you should be able to see it on the sidebar here. You can see that I have my photo. Great. So, so now, if you remember from our index.html, we didn't put anything in the source for the photo. Now that we have our photo, let's just type in the file name. So mine is called google-logo.jpg. Whoa, that's really big. So this we want it to, oops, to look like this, right? So let's first make it smaller. If we, let me save this and then go into our main.css and let's make some image styles. So first of all, we want the height to be a lot smaller. So let's try height. 200 pixels it's much better and it kind of already has some padding around it just from the image so we're just gonna leave that we also want it to display on its own line we don't want the search bar there so we're gonna put display as block and you can see everything else went below it now that's great and we want to move it down a little bit from the top. So I'm going to put a margin top property. Margin top, let's say 100 pixels. That looks good for right now. Um, and we also want to center it. So we're going to do margin. Okay. So we're going to do margin left as auto and we also need a margin right as auto then this just basically centers our image as long as the display is set to block on its own line okay now that we have this centered we also want to center the search and we want to put the buttons below it so we want to have this on its own line, maybe make it a little bit bigger, and then have the buttons below it and style those a little bit too. So if you remember in our HTML file, we have our input as type text. So we're going to reference this by the input type in our CSS. So let's go back. So if we just put our input like this it's going to reference all uh, everything with the input tag that would be the the search field and both buttons but we just want the search field so we're going to amend this and put type equals text and now it'll only reference the search which type is equal to text if you remember from our HTML. Right, so we first want the display as block that puts it on its own line. We also want to add a little bit of a margin here. Let's just say we want uh, 10 pixels and that'll add 10 pixels all around but for the each side we want to put the margin left as auto and the margin right as auto. So it's actually a shorthand way of doing this to center it and instead of spelling out here margin top and then margin left and then margin right we can actually put just margin and then margin 10 pixels will reference the top and the bottom and we can put auto here. That's just a shorthand way of writing it and centers. Now we want to make it a little bit bigger so let's increase the 
font size inside our search field. Let's say we want 16 pixel font size, makes it a little bit bigger. And let's increase the padding. So I'll show you what padding is going to do in just a second. Okay. So the difference, sometimes if it's up here in between elements, you won't be able to see the difference between padding and margining. But here, basically padding is on the inside of the border. Since this has a border around it, padding will be on the inside and margin will be on the outside. And I'm going to increase the padding a little bit here, say 7 pixels. Great. And let me do a width of 200 pixels. Let's try 300 pixels. There we go. Now our search field is a little bit better. There we go. And now for the buttons, we want to center those two. 